Roman. Roman, where are you? In here. I'm stuck. Let me out. Shit, man. <gasps> what are you doing in there? I got scared. People started calling the house and hanging up. You weren't answering your phone. What happened? We've got a big problem. Dimitri was not a man of his word. So we're dead? More or less. Everything was fine before yes. you. Yes. Fine, and now this? Thank you. Thanks a lot. It's Vini. Nevidna. What's done is done. Yes. But there's a bigger problem. What? That guy I owed money to, Bulgarin. Yes, the guy in <sighs> Europe who lives by the Adriatic. Yeah, yeah, he's here now. <sighs> Great. I'm sorry. I've ruined your life. No, don't be like that. We, we can find a way out of this. A bunch of idiot Russians. I will kill every one of them. No, that's exactly what you won't do. We don't have time for revenge. We can't afford it. What can we afford? Uh, we can lay low and start over. <sighs> Please. Uh, come on. Let's go back to the apartment. We can pick up our stuff, and then get out of here. I'll call Mallory. She might have somewhere we can hide out. Come on, get going! Hey, beautiful! Um, listen, me and Nico are in a bit of trouble. Um, need to get out of broker a few days. Any of your cousins have a place we could use out in Bohem? Oh, you're an angel. Beautiful and kind. I love you. We'll see you there. <sighs> Maybe things are not so bad. This I did not expect. I was thinking about getting out of the cab business. Last night I had a dream. Really? Yes. You and I had a place of our own. A place where people come to eat and relax. Classy place. None of this fast food diner bullshit. We own a real restaurant. Tavern is a place of distinction, you know? I can't see myself settling down. Not now, but in the dream, you've met the right woman. She's beautiful, pure like my Mallory. In the dream, Mallory and me are married and everything is perfect. This could be the start of that. A fresh beginning. All I know is we have to get as far from Dimitri and Bulgarin as we can. We will. But I have left something important at the apartment. Something I must show you, cousin. What the hell? Holy fuck, it's fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in! I've got to get something! Leave it, cousin. This place is gone. They burnt it! They fucking burnt it, Nico! Do you know how long it took me to get a place of my own? You got off the boat and I was here for you! I know you were. I got here and I had nothing! Nobody! I worked my way up from the fucking dirt! for Jesus it's on fire fuck I've got nothing left not my home not my business nothing they took it all I'm sorry Roman I'm really sorry but we have to go we'll meet Mallory and Bohan you still have her. And you, for all the good you've done me. Do you know how long it took me to get set up here? You don't, because it was easy for you. You had it all from day one. It took me months to get some cash together. Finally, I bought a cab, and then another. Then I got the depot. I slept under my desk at that place for over a year. Then I got the apartment. The apartment you thought was so shitty. Well, it doesn't matter. And now it's gone, along with everything else. I said I was sorry. 
You have a lot to apologize for. Since you got here, I've had my computer smashed. I've been beaten up. I was kidnapped and then shot in the stomach. My apartment got burned down and so did my business. Things have been going so great. Just great since you showed up. You remember that time when we went to the bar back home and found it raised to the ground? Just a pile of rubble. Everything smashed. Except for that one bottle of vodka. Yeah, we sat down and finished it off there and then. Wait, wait, I don't want to talk about back home. We're here in America now. And I should be thinking about my life here. My life, which is ruined. Just drive, shut up, and drive. <laughs> hey, beautiful. What's up? No, what do you mean? I haven't been crying since my allergies. <laughs> Nico's wearing this new cologne. <laughs> yeah, trying to impress Michelle or something. They're coming to your cousins. Are you there? Great. See you in a bit, Neil. My dream? It was just that. A dream. I can't have the tavern now. I have nothing to buy it with. I, ha I have nothing. I told you. You still have Mallory. But I wanted to really have her. I wanted to marry her. You can still do that. I had bought her a ring. That is what I wanted to show you. It was... Beautiful ring. <laughs> what do you have? Now I have nothing. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Roman, pull yourself together. You've been here before. Positive mental attitude. Come on. At least they want me dead and not you. <sighs> I do not think it will be much difference to them, Nico. One dead Belik will give them a little bit of happiness while they wait for next. I do not care, though. We are in this situation. We must deal with it. Bring on the Bohan. Okay. Beginning of our new lives. Again. <sighs> Not so bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we'll be impressing women with our wonderful hot tub, but uh, this looks okay. Yes, great. Come on, what's what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Where should I start? All right, I'll start with you. What's wrong with you? Fifteen minutes ago, you were cowering in fear because you didn't know what was going to happen. Now, you know everything is shit, and you're going to be killed, and you're all cheerful. I don't get it. I guess I'm an optimist. An idiot, not an optimist. I was bored of broker anyway. I'm glad you turned up and made some Russian killers burn down my oh. home and business. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Nico. Thanks a bunch. Is that better? March. Thank God you're okay. Both of you. We're fucked. We're broke and on the run. No, I'm from up here, Nico. I know a bunch of people who might be able to help out. Why don't you come and meet me at the community center later on? I gotta go to work. Bye, Papi. Mwah, mwah. And have a shower. You smell a little, um, mature. So, I guess we start again. Sure. 
I'm going, gal. 